So here it is, 1.30 a.m. on a Wednesday night, or actually early Thursday morning. Uh, I'm up late because I'm prepping for a three-day private marriage intensive, and so in the next few hours, I'm gonna be driving down to the airport, I have to be there by five, uh, get on an early bird flight, fly out to Washington, D.C. to meet with a couple um, who's been impacted by an affair. And so I figured, you know, let me take you on a journey with me. Let me show you how I prep, what goes into it, the behind the scenes of what this three-day experience is all about. So uh, come along. So people are often amazed about the fact that I'll actually get on a plane and fly all the way to another state or to another country to work with a couple. And the reason why I do it is because, guess what? People need the help. And based upon work schedules or childcare, they may not be able to fly down to our retreat center here in Atlanta. So we go to them because we're passionate about changing and transforming lives no matter where they are. So we've gone to places like, um, where have we gone? South Africa, London, uh, the Caribbean, um, or had people from Canada, uh, work with people in Alaska. Um, just got a call from Hawaii today. <clears throat> I've worked with a couple in Dubai, uh, Indonesia, um, just different parts of the world because the reality is no matter what your culture, no matter what side of the world you're on, people are going through similar things. And so even though there's a cultural divide, sometimes a language divide, a racial divide, even a faith and creed divide, when it comes to relationships, our journeys are similar. We all experience hurt, we all experience pain, and we're trying to figure out how to turn things around. So we will get on a plane and fly out wherever our clients ask us. I spent a week in Romania working with a couple. And so this is just what it is. So a part of our preparation for <clears throat> our three days together is that we'll send the couple an itinerary or a schedule or an agenda of the three days um, ahead of time so that they have time to review it. And it's an intensive, <laughs> it's called an intensive for a reason. Literally, we're spending 10 to 12 hours a day with a couple, sometimes 14, 15 hours, depending upon how much that couple wants to cover and how many issues they're really dealing with. And so we're doing individual sessions, we're doing couple sessions, experiential learning, all types of things. But while they're doing their work, I'm always constantly doing work. And so whether I'm writing a book or reading a book, you know, I have to get the time in um, to maximize, you know, just the amount of productivity I can have in a weekend. So, and so I've dedicated myself to reading books. Now I've written 14, but for every book I write, I read 10 books about that subject. And so readers are leaders. And so as a part of your recovery process, you want to make sure that you're reading books on marriage, books on recovery, books on forgiveness, books on trust. You want to have a hunger, a thirst, a ferocious intensity, if you will, uh, to gain an education that will ultimately lead to your transformation. And that's what we do. So, time to get in this car and head to this airport so I don't miss my flight. 4.35 a.m. Just arrived at the airport. Extremely tired. Need to get on this plane and fall into a deep comatose sleep for about an hour and 20 minutes before my plane lands. So I can get to the hotel and do the work that's necessary. This is the life. If I haven't said it, I'm at the Atlanta International Airport and even at 4.30 in the morning, <laughs> look at this, it doesn't stop. Busiest airport in the world. going to D21 and when I get there mm, I'm gonna set my alarm clock I'm gonna wrap my arms and my legs around my luggage I'm gonna tell the neighbor next to me that when they start boarding to tap me to wake me up 
and then I'm gonna fall into a deep comatose sleep for the next 20, 25 minutes before boarding that plane. I fell asleep, almost missed my flight, got on right before it pulled off. That's what happens. The adventures of flying early in the morning. <laughs> 